Hey there, Skyslopers! In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to send fillable disclosure forms using Skyslope Forms. Let's take a look. Once in Skyslope Forms, you'll see your list of forms files. Click on the name of a file to open it. Here, I've opened my seller file for Gray Shepherd. Now it's time to add the forms we need. Click on the Add Forms button and you'll be taken to the Add Forms page. Here you can type the name of a form, and when it comes up, click the Add button to add this form to your file. You can select other forms or just the one and then click Next. Now we'll be taken back into the forms file and we can open the form to fill it out. Now many disclosure forms, like the seller property questionnaire here, are required to be filled out fully by the buyer or seller. Skyslip Forms allows them to fill it out quickly and accurately. Looking at the SPQ, we can see all of our property information has already been filled in. When we look at the fields where the seller is intended to sign, we can see that those areas are grayed out. When we attempt to edit those fields, we see a message that this field is required to be filled by the seller. The same message will display on any of the checkbox or text fields on this form. When we send the SPQ to be signed, the sellers will be able to enter all of this information during the signing process. Once we've given the document a once over, we can click the blue Prepare Signature button to move the document into DigiSign. First, we can name the envelope and select the signer actions and then click Next. Now that we're in DigiSign, we can see that all of the grayed out checkboxes and text fields have been activated and assigned to the signers on this envelope. Along with that, all of the signatures, initials, and dates have been added. The checkboxes are added in checkbox groups with group requirements to make sure that exactly one option from each group is selected before the signers can complete signing, which ensures that no section is left incomplete. For the most seamless signing workflow, all of the checkboxes and text fields will automatically be assigned to the first signer on the envelope. Signature, initial, and date boxes will be added for all signers. After a final overview, you can go ahead and click on Send. In the pop-up window, you can edit the subject line and message of the email that will be included with the invitation to sign. Once you're all done, click Send for Signatures. From the signer's perspective, the fillable disclosure form allows them to fill in any information they're legally required to disclose. Let's see it in action. When they first begin signing in DigiSign, they will be directed to where the first field is. For each question on this disclosure, they can review the question and then select the best option in the checkbox group. In this example, they're instructed to select only one box. The signer can continue signing, completing all of the checkbox options as they move down the page. When the signer reaches a text field, they can simply click into the text box and begin typing. Then they can click the Next button to move to the next field. When the signer clicks to add their first initial or signature onto the document, they will be prompted to set their signature by either selecting one of the five available options or drawing their own signature. Then, each signer will continue to sign the document, acknowledging each required field until they're able to see in the lower right corner that they have completed all of the required fields and the Finish Signing button has turned from gray to blue. Once they have finished signing, they will be directed to a page where they can download a copy of the signed document. Sending disclosure forms to your clients has never been easier. Give it a try today and reach out to our 24-7 support team if you have any questions. Happy skyslipping!